Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Guides. Today, we will be looking at sustainable food. We looked at food before, but now we're going to be looking at some sustainable food. Now, I've actually found some of the stuff we're going to need. It's time to go a gathering because we need to go and gather some stuff. So, I'm going to show you what stuff you need and where to get it, how to get it, and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's sort out our action bar a bit. And I'm going to show you two main ways you can find this. The first is I started digging somewhere around here. Where was it? Oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. The idea being that you can just simply start digging, find a place you want to dig, and then just dig. And just go down. Like in a sort of uh, steps way. So that you've got one up, one up, and you just keep going down. And you can keep going down for quite a while. And that will get you lots and lots of stone, and what we're looking for is, of course, iron. And now I'm going to show you something else. If I go this way, I recently stumbled on this. You will find these naturally occurring throughout the Minecraft world. You've got little randomly forming bits. So if we go down here, ow, you will see over here we have coal. What does coal do? Coal is a bit like charcoal in the way it performs. You know, you can make torches out of it, you can cook things with it, you can do lots of stuff with coal. Coal is lovely. So that's some coal. I'm not going to keep mining all of that. Let's just pick up some of that. We'll be using it in a second. The thing we're after today is iron. Hello, iron. How are you doing today? This is what iron looks like. If you're using any kind of texture pack, it will look different. But this is what iron looks like in the classic version of Minecraft. So all you do is left click on it and then it starts mining the iron ore. So go and see if you can find some iron and when you have iron we will be able to create some sustainable food sources. When you get stuck you can always just use the old standby of right click plus holding down spacebar to allow you to build up. Let's just get rid of this dirt and build up and out. Here we go going back. We're going to pick up some rotten flesh. Obviously a zombie died there. A zombie died there. Moving on. Why is it lagging? I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's getting grumpy. You have been recording too many videos, Mr. Tempest. It's time for us Minecraft programs to, to shut down. And that's okay, computer. Don't worry. I'll be stopping in just a minute. Well, for now. Anyway, so let's get rid of those raw pork chops and put some coal in there at the bottom with the iron ore above it in our furnace. And we're going to be smelting three. So you'll see this sort of arrow filling up, that's the progress bar. And I'm going to skip this for you, so when you come back we'll have three iron ingots, and that is what you need. Alrighty, now we have three iron ingots over here. We're going to go to our crafting table and place them like this. One either side and one at the bottom for a bucket. Sort of like a bit of a triangle. And that gives us a bucket, an iron bucket. What are we going to do with the bucket? We need water. That is what we need. If you have a water source nearby, you can actually do this without needing to use the bucket. But it's just easier if you use the bucket. And we have so much ice here, it's actually a bit of an annoyance. Anyway, let's go back to what we were doing. We have some water. Don't worry, you are going to have to make several trips. If you have a lot of iron, and the water source is really far away, then you can get several iron buckets. And what we need, trenches, but not like this. Let's fill in that last one at the end. Come on computer, you can survive. I know you can. And let's just go out one more on this side. That's, that's a pretty decent width. Yeah, let's go with that. Then we can create a second row. If you want to create a second row, you can create as many rows as you want, but don't go don't go too crazy. There's no need for it to be exorbitant and, and amazingly crazy. Um, two rows, that should suffice. Let's get rid of that block. There's no need for that block. There we go. And then you are going to place the water using your buckets by right-clicking inside the trench, like that. Then let's go back and get some water. And we're just going to keep refilling it. The idea is, of course, to fill one trench at a time. Don't spread the water evenly, because you'll just have to make more trips if you do that. So let's try and get the water so that it is still. If it's like this, 
you want it to be like that. You don't want it to be running. When it's running like that, you don't want that to be running. Not inside your trench. So let's go over here and right click on the part that's running and boom, we have it all still giving us an infinite water source. So now you can right click in the middle part and it lets us fill the other trench. There we go. Done. That was easy. Go away, ice. Nobody likes you. And then let's go and get the stone hoe, which if you need to know how to re you know, you need to know how to make that, go and look at the tools video that I did very, very recently. If it's covered in snow, you need to break the snow, just left click it and it'll break and go away. And there's a creeper over there. Creepers are silent, just an FYI. And there we go. We've got some of that. You want to create it either side of this water. You can do it on um, you can do it all around it, but there's no real need for that, so I'm just going to do it like this. And there's sub something beeping. That is my supper, dear friends. That is my supper. Anyway, let's get this. Let's right click this. Let's right click that. And then what you want to do is you want to plant seeds. You'll be right clicking the seeds on the dirt that you've just used the hoe on. If you want to know how to get seeds, you just you punch grass. And you break grass and you get seeds. See? I got two more seeds. This is grass, you just punch it. And sometimes it gives you seeds. Not always, but sometimes. And then you just plant the seeds. And what that will do is it will turn into wheat. When it is fully grown, you punch the wheat, you break the wheat, you collect the wheat, and then you can turn it into into food. And I am going to quickly show you how to do that with some wheat. If you if you kill skeletons and get bone meal, you can use the bone meal on the plants and you make them grow super fast. So let's quickly have a look at how you create the how you use the wheat to make food. So to prevent having to wait for the plants to grow, I just cheated a little bit and got some free wheat. So you need three. You need three things of wheat and you don't want to cheat, but that's how you're going to do it. I'm going to put one wheat, one wheat, one wheat, side by side, bottom row, three of them. And that will give you one bread. And what you can do with the bread is eat it. Go and eat some bread and that will give you food. Why is it sustainable? Because you can keep growing that stuff all day and all night. The only thing is that you do need to grow quite a lot of it because it takes a very long time to grow. And, you know, it's pretty easy to grow quite a lot of it. It's not exactly a lot of work. And there you go, you've got tons and tons of bread, and you'll never go hungry. So, what are you waiting for? Go build that farm, go get that iron, go get that iron bucket, go fill trenches, go all do all of that stuff. And that's it for this video. As always, there will always be more guides, so I suggest you subscribe. Anyway, cheerio.